In the case of the humanoid, the task was to transfer the biomechanics of the human musculoskeletal system to a technical construction. The key element for the realization of this aim is Festo's fluidic muscle. Already a permanent feature in production systems, the fluidic muscle is proving to be a universal tool in a surprising number of new applications. It's simply a completely new type of pneumatic drive. Its properties are similar to those of a real muscle, but it's operated with air. When the fluidic muscle is filled with air, its diameter increases and the length contracts. This enables flowing and elastic motions. The initial force of this artificial muscle is extremely high, and its dynamics resemble those of the human muscle. The humanoid can either follow pre-programmed motions or be controlled in real time via a data suit and data gloves. This means it can be used in places which are either inaccessible or too dangerous for humans. Eric's arm also utilizes the fluidic muscle. It attempts to simulate as closely as possible its human role model. With the aid of Eric's arm, even more complex movements will be made possible. 30 artificial muscles move the bone structure and joints, a construction not encountered in this form in the world of technology. In combination with Festo's latest piezo-proportional valves, this technology enables precise control of the construction's forces. Coordination of the muscles and valves is made possible by cutting-edge mechatronic systems and software. Eric's arm is also of great interest to the future of robotics, as it can interact almost naturally with humans. It glides almost silently through the water, the Aracuda. The Aracuda is a remote-controlled, pneumatically-driven fish. Its head houses the electronics and pneumatics, which control the S-shaped motion of its tail fin via two fluidic muscles. Two further muscles control the steering movement. Once again, the fin ray effect provides the necessary propulsion. A bottle housed inside the fish supplies compressed air to the artificial muscles and the air bubble. Sensors measure the depth and control the valves. The air bubble is flooded with water to make the fish dive, or with air to make it rise. Even more agile is the aqua ray, a remote controlled fish with a water hydraulic drive unit whose form is modeled on the manta ray. The ray is regarded as a highly skilled underwater acrobat. Its wave-like motion provides maximum thrust with a minimum of effort. By using new types of elastic materials and a deformable skin, it's possible to accurately emulate the swimming kinematics of the natural model. Uses in marine research applications are therefore feasible, as the aqua ray can glide through the water without disturbing the natural environment. Whether on Earth or in space, in the depths of the ocean or high in the sky, the new drives of Festo's bionic learning network are all inspired by nature. In this way, we can develop new approaches for energy efficient products of the future. But the researchers of the bionic learning network also have another aim. They want their projects to make technology exciting for young people for only enthusiastic young technicians and engineers can one day turn these visions into reality.